Okay, so now we're ready to talk about the menstrual cycle. Um, first thing that I want to say about the menstrual cycle is basically we the way we view the menstrual cycle is we think of it as two parallel sets of events happening in the ovaries and in the uterus. Okay, so the events that are happening in the ovaries we, we refer to as the ovarian cycle. The events that are happening in the uterus we refer to as the uterine cycle. Typical menstrual cycle, or at least according to textbooks, is about 28 days. Okay. Um, taking a closer look at these cycles, the ovarian cycle is going to consist of three main parts. So it's really like kind of two main phases separated by an event. Okay. So um, the beginning of the ovarian cycle is the follicular phase. And what happens during the follicular phase is our follicles are going to be maturing during that phase. And that is going to last um, in the textbook version about 14 days, in reality, anywhere from 10 days to three weeks, okay? Um, then at the end of the follicular phase, we have ovulation where the egg is released. After ovulation, we enter the luteal phase. What happens during the luteal phase is that this uh, leftover tissue from the follicle converts to a structure called the corpus luteum. The corpus luteum is going to be secreting hormones to prepare the body for pregnancy. Um, if there is no pregnancy, then the corpus luteum will just cease to function and it'll die off. Okay, so that's our ovarian cycle is these three events. Okay, you can see those events of the ovarian cycle lined up with the events of the uterine cycle down here, which we are going to go over in this slide right here, okay? So first thing that I wanna say about the uterine cycle is that the events that happen in the uterine cycle are happening in response to hormones that are coming from the ovaries that are being secreted by the ovaries. And we're gonna look at that in greater detail um, later. Um, but um, just to start off with, uh, we have three main phases of the uterine cycle. The first is menses, or this is when menstrual bleeding happens, okay? So what happens during menses is that the endometrial tissue uh, kind of disintegrates and gets shed, okay? Next, we have the proliferative phase. So the kind of remainder of the end endometrium after it has been shed starts to proliferate again. So we get like cell division, thickening of the endometrium. And again, all, all of this centers around pregnancy. So this is going to be in preparation for pregnancy. Okay. And then after the prol proliferative phase, um, the endometrium enters the secretory phase. So what happens is the endometrium becomes a secretory structure that starts to secrete um, materials that are going to prepare the body um, for pregnancy, okay? And those secretions are in response to hormones from the corpus luteum, okay? Um, so I just wanna point out again, we have our three uterine, cycle phases right here, but you can see above that how they line up with the phases of the ovarian cycle. The menstrual cycle and just sort of reproduction in general is um, controlled by hormones from the hypothalamus and anterior pituitary. Uh, this figure shows you those hormones. So we have uh, the hypothalamus secreting GnRH, GnRH stands for gonadotropin releasing hormone. GnRH from the hypothalamus is going to stimulate the anterior pituitary to secrete two hormones, this one LH and this one FSH. So LH stands for luteinizing hormone, FSH stands for follicle stimulating hormone. Okay, and collectively we refer to LH and FSH as gonadotropins. That's why we have this name here, GnRH, gonadotropin releasing hormone, which is going to stimulate the release of these hormones, the gonadotropins, okay? The gonadotropins then are going to work on the ovaries in the females, 
um, to regulate the menstrual cycle and to stimulate uh, those um, cell divisions um, and follicle maturation um, in the ovaries. Okay, so the main hormones that we're going to be looking at that are involved in this process are estrogen and progesterone. I also want to quickly mention these same hormones regulate male reproduction. So we will see that when we get to male reproduction. Okay, finally, I want to say that the reproductive, well, many of the reproductive hormones are steroid hormones which as you know by now means that they are synthesized from cholesterol. So you can see here color coded in pink are progesterone and estradiol which are the predominant reproductive hormones in females. So estradi estradiol is the main estrogen. Estrogens are like a class of female reproductive hormones, okay? Um, and then we have color coded here in blue for you, the male reproductive hormones, testosterone and DHT, dihydrotestosterone, okay? Um, I do wanna mention testosterone is also present in females um, and that we can make estradiol from testosterone using the uh, enzyme aromatase.